In honor of the Motley Crue biopic The Dirt being released on Netflix today, it seems like a perfect time to learn one of Mick Mars' shreddiest solos from Too Young to Fall in Love. Hey there kids and welcome to this week's installment of Weekend Wang Shop. Here's your good buddy, Uncle Ben. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely excited to watch The Dirt and learn the entire sordid history of Motley Crue. I really love this band. My hair metal cover band Skank Banger plays a whole bunch of their tunes. Be sure to follow us on the Instagram. And one of my favorite things about the band is definitely Mick Mars' guitar playing in tone. I think he's really an underrated 80s riff master. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the solo from Too Young to Fall in Love, which is one of his shreddiest and most exotic sounding ones in the crew catalog. Usually mixed leads are more like simple and bluesy with like some whammy bar stuff and things like that in there. But this one is downright burning, so it's a lot of fun to learn. It's got some great alternate picking stuff in there as well as some cool exotic scale use, so lots of good stuff to be found in this solo. Before we get into the lesson, let's hear it again at stepdad speed. And as always, for full tabs of this lesson, be sure to go visit my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitars. Search for hashtag Weekend Shop 224 find the tabs, learn how to play it, then upload a video of yourself shredding through it, along with the hashtag Weekend Shop. And of course, downloadable tabs and the backing track that I used at the first of this video that was created by my buddy Jeff Rupert are available to my Patreon members. So be sure to visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ben Eller Guitars. Sign up, drop me some support, and start reaping the benefits. Thanks a lot. Okay, first things first, as usual, for Motley Crue, this song is tuned down one whole step. So every string is down one step lower than usual. D, G, C, F, A, D is the tuning that you're going to be in in order to play this. If you're playing a Fender scale guitar like this Ibanez here, I recommend using a set of strings like 10 through 46 or heavier in order to prevent noodle strings. To start off with, you're going to play the 7th fret on the high E string. And yes, I am calling it an E string even though it's tuned down to D. You know damn well what I mean. Start off here on the seventh fret. We're gonna do some alternate picking here. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. A total of seven notes. You should play down, up, down, up, down, up, down. After this, play another series of three notes before we start this descending kind of pattern that we do. So the first thing we play there is. And when you do that just set of three notes, I recommend picking up, down, up. It's gonna put you rhythmically so that you're using down strokes on the down beats for the next lick. So it should flow like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This descending lick sounds like this. So that's the fifth to seventh on the E. Go up here to the nine on the B. Again, there's that raised third for Phrygian dominant. Go back to the fifth high E. So now you have then you're gonna play 6 9 uh, on the B string, and then 5 6. A little bit of a stretch right there. So after this stuff, we're brought to this little repeating legato lick that he plays four times in a row. This isn't too bad. What I'm doing here is I'm playing the 5 on the B, and then we're gonna do a hammer on and pull off with 6 here. So it's 5, hammer to 6, pull back off to 5. Then hit the G7. That's the lick right there. Play that four times in a row. Just like that. I like to use up to down picking on there because I'm kind of an outside picking sort of guy. If you're more of an insider, you might prefer to go down to up. But I like the up to down better personally. After the repeating lick, hit the B5. And then do three whole step bends on the seventh fret G. 
So you end up playing like this. And give it some juicy vibrats while you're at the top of that thing, why don't you? After that, we're brought to the first alternate pick repeating lick in here, which is on the G on frets 4, 5, and 7. Just play up those three notes eight times in a row, alternate pick, okay? You should be feeling these as 16th note triplets, or sextuplets as they're called sometimes. So in other words, in every beat, you should be playing, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three. Then you get this cool little sexy lick right here. And he kind of chokes these notes with the pick a little bit, which sounds really cool. So here I'm playing G457, B65, G7, skipping here to the E5, okay? Then on your B, play 65, G7, and then B65 again, okay? That's the first half of the solo. Let's recap what we have here so far. Starting off with the picking on the seventh E, descending lick, a uh, little repeating legato thing, then the bends. Repeating alternate pick thing, and sexy time. After that we get to the second repeating lick in the solo, which takes place on frets 10, 12, and 13 of the B string. Same deal as before, eight times in a row, strict alternate picking. It's a great way to test and see just how in sync your hands are. I think that lines like this where you have to repeat the same notes over and over on a string while alternate picking, it's a really great way to check and see just how connected both of your arm hands are with your playing. Also just really dig that he put in a couple of these licks because it builds like a nice theme that keeps recurring throughout the solo. You know, it doesn't just sound like a bunch of licks. It sounds like a bunch of licks that have some connective tissue between them. After that, we're gonna play another repeating lick, this time on the 12, 13, and 15 of the high E string. This one he plays three times in a row. And then it sounds... It's a little muffled on the recording, honestly, but it sounds like he just hits the high E string 12 three times in a row before he does the bends. Again, it's a little muffled sounding, but it's close enough. After this, we're gonna hit the uh, 15th fret on the high E string and give that three whole step bends. Again, kind of mirroring the, the bends that we did down here earlier in the solo. Really good continuity here. Again, he's working on themes, guys. It's not just a bunch of random licks. After those bends, we play the last descending sequence here. Which sounds like it starts maybe by sliding up to the 15 on the B. I'm not gonna swear to it because the note isn't like super audible and defined. It sounds like he just kind of slides up the B and then changes to the high E string 12, 13. Like that right there. So you didn't really hear that note, you know, land. It just kind of sounds like his hand is getting up the neck. So anyway, kind of got your ghost slide, 12, 13 on the E, 15th B, 12th high E, 13, 15 on the B, 12, 13 on the B, okay? 14th G, 12th B, 12th G, 14th G, okay? Then on the G play 10, 12, and then it sounds like they're just kind of a quick pull off that he does right here. Again, it's a little muffled in the mix, but it sounds like he's just thinking, I need to get down here to this ninth fret. So he hits the 12 on the G, pulls off to 10, and then there's a little slide to nine. Yeah, it's kind of a slur like that. Not super well defined. So after you slide down into that ninth G, we're gonna play this. So that is the 10 on the G pulling to nine, 12th D, back to ninth G. Then you gotta play this line. Same thing, but just a little extra wind up on there. You gotta play that 10 on the G, pulling to 9, 12th D, and then let's walk up the G right here. 9, 10, 12, 10, pull back off to 9, 12th D, ending on the 9 on the G, with a little slide down like that. Play it again for you. And that is the entire solo. So to recap, we start off here on the 7th high E, 
descending thing, repeater, bends, repeating alternate pick thing. Then we jump up here on the neck here for the next repeating lick. Change positions, bends, slide in. So there you go guys, a complete lesson on how to play a classic crew solo. I think this is actually the first time I've dipped into any Motley Crue stuff here on my channel. So if there's any particular riffs or solos from their back catalog that you'd like to learn on future installments of Weekend Wake Shop, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for new lessons every single week. You all can follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you like what you see here on my channel and want to drop me some support, be sure to visit that Patreon page, patreon.com slash Ben Eller Guitars. Thanks again for watching. Now get off of YouTube and go play some dang guitar. Less clicking, more picking.